Greetings and salutations. It is Friday, August 7th, and oh my god, Harry, World of, I almost said Harry Potter, World of Warcraft Legion. How excited are you? So, we're going to talk about that while I do my video today, because commentary, yo. And, uh, yeah, while we're doing that, in honor of the Burning Legion, let's do some zoo. So, World of Warcraft Legion was a journey from beginning to end, and I live tweeted it, so if you want to, check out my Twitter, uh, Kalita Vlogs, and you can see kind of how excited I got. So, um, let's start at the beginning, I think, is a good place to start. I break into a rendition of Do Re Mi, I'm not that mean. Sorry, I'm trying to do too many things at once. I don't know what's going on with my computer. Uh... This is a decent zoo hand. I'll keep that actually, in case I get a new ruby. In. There we go. All right, cool. Ooh, I'm playing a golden priest. That is exciting. Okay. Uh, what? So. I am scrolling down to where I first started live tweeting it because I'm a geek and that way I can kind of keep track of what all actually went down. So, we're getting there, we're getting there. How about I play? Huh? That probably is a good idea. Alright, so. Almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. Alright, so. There was a recap video. And so what they did is they basically played all of the cinematics. Oh, bull crap, I don't have enough mana. They basically played all the cinematics that, uh, whatchamacallit, um, that they played, uh, that, that kind of went on throughout the story. So there was the one of Urel, like, being blinked off, the, or being, uh, ported off the ship, um, from... It was a scenario, it wasn't a raid. Then there was the one from where, yeah, spoiler alert, Thrall kills Garage. And then they did, I want this. I'm gonna take that. I don't really wanna tap yet. Um, and then they showed the one where Gul'dan's like trying to move. I think it's near the end of Hellfire Citadel, I think. I don't remember. I'm sorry. But they showed a bunch... Anyway, they showed a bunch of the cinematics from... Uh oh, come on. I speak English, I swear. They showed a bunch of the cinematics from... Uh what you call it? Um, from Warlords. And then they showed the one from the end of Hellfire Citadel, which is Urel... Cadgar and someone else is there, and I can't remember who, I'm sorry, it might be Thrall. And so basically what he says is, um, hey, just so you know, I don't think this dude's actually gone. And, uh, see, lovely. Um, just so you know, I don't think this, I, he's not gone, he's gonna come back, kind of thing. You're always like, oh, crap. So that was it, and it's like, okay, well, okay, that's, we kind of figured, you, you, don't, you don't actually... Why am I lagging? You don't actually kill Gul'dan. So, there was that. So that was pretty cool. And then, um, Tom came out from Blizzard. I don't know any of their last names, but Tom came out from Blizzard. And he was like, so... Also, he was like, so now we're going to show you a, uh, a video kind of tying Warlords and the next expansion together. And say what you will about Blizzard and their gameplay and how they make MMOs. I'm more or less happy with how they run stuff. But... Seriously, like just the sheer amount of quality and care that goes into their cinematics is spectacular. So, we watch the cinematic, and uh, Gul'dan is like, he, he's walking in this building, and there's green fire, and you're like, what the heck is going on? And then I stopped being an idiot, and I realized that, oh, hey, I'm pretty sure that that is Illidan. Why is Illidan here? I, I don't understand. Why is Illidan here? I think? Yes, we win. Excellent. 
why is Illid in here? I don't understand what's going on, right? Like, what the heck? And then I was like, I remember one of the theories about what was coming up in for the expansion, possibly. I remember that someone was saying maybe we're getting a Burning Legion theme. And I was like, oh, that'd be kind of cool. I was like, well, Illidan was kind of the head of the Burning Legion for Outland. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. Maybe he's like getting his secrets. And then it goes all shadowy and green, and then it's like, oh, no, I think he's waking Illidan up. What are you doing, Gul'dan? Stop it. Stop it, Gul'dan. Don't do this. You're messing with powers you can't control. No, I don't know. So there was that. Let's play some more zoo, because what the hell. Um, so that was interesting. And then they show the actual announcement trailer for the new expansion. So this is, this is, this is my Twitter feed as I go. So... The level cap is now 110. We're going to a whole new continent called Broken Isles. I put Burning Continent because I was like trying to type all the freaking things. Oh, this is not the best starting hand. Let's get rid of these two. So Broken Isles, which is a continent that is actually in, um, is a continent that is actually in, oh, come on, Abigail. It is a continent that is actually in, uh... Oh my god, where is my brain? It is a continent that is actually in Azeroth, so we're not going to some distant... this distant planet like we did for Outland and Draenor. We are not going to, uh... We are not going... Like I said, we're going to a distant planet. We're not going back in time. Um, we're, we're staying in Azeroth, and we're staying, I think, relatively close to home. Like, I don't think it's anywhere crazy. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be, like, they're probably going to, like, slide Pandaria over, and then there's going to be Broken Isles underneath Eastern Kingdoms. That is my bet. But who the heck knows if I'm right? Because I certainly don't know if I'm right. Um, let's do this. Sure. We'll punch you in the face. And you, I don't care you get two cards, that's fine. So that was a thing. So I was pretty excited about that. So yeah, the continent is called Broken Isles, and I'll kind of, as I go, I'll kind of go into what all the zones are called. Um, artifact weapons, which is really exciting. Um, we'll go into a bit, bit, bit more detail of that later, but I was really excited about that. Class order halls, a new honor system. Oh my god, new class. Demon Hunter, I am so excited about the Demon Hunter. Until I learned it was melee, but whatever, I'll survive. So that was a thing that I was eh, relatively excited about. And then, what else? Um, I was jumping up and down in my seat, and then at the end of the cinematic, you see Varian Wren sitting in his throne, and like, fucking grown up Anduin is there, he's like 25 or 30, and then Cadgar comes in and he's like, the burning legion, something or other. I don't remember the entire thing, I just remember that it's Braytax voice and it made me very happy. What are you doing? Stop it! That's rude! Oh, you son of a gun. Anyway, Gul'dan's a dick. Let's just ditch this. And of course I lose my guy. Oh well, that's alright. So, there's that. So, World of Warcraft Legion. So immediately after the video, all of Tom immediately puts on the new shirt and it's got like green fire all over it. It looks really freaking sweet. So I was very excited about that. Um, Chris Metzen was not there, unfortunately, but we had Tom, we had Alex, and we had Ian. Um, Alex is like the guy who always is on the lore panel with, um, who's always on the lore panel with, uh, what's his name? Sure. Um, who's always on the lore panel with Chris Metzen whenever they do them at BlizzCon. Um, Tom is VP game designer, I think, and uh, Ian isn't responsible for um, uh, raids and dungeon encounters, more or less, as far as I can tell. So, uh, continent is called Broken Isles. The, the honor system has doing a new prestige system, which apparently is like Halo or Call of Duty. I don't really know. I don't tend to pay attention to that stuff. So there was that. Um, so Broken Isles is 
a land at the heart of Azeroth that is long forgotten. It is the bones of an old night elf civilization. So it is pretty much entirely night elf, more or less. There's obviously some zones that are elsewhere, but the like the bulk of the civilization where um, in Pandaria we had the uh, Pandaren. Um, in Northern there were a bunch of different native races, um, but how kind of how the whole of dark, the whole of uh, Teldrassil is Dran is a uh, Draenor or Night Elf. Oh my God, that's kind of how and how like Draenor is was a uh, Night Elf or not Night Elf Draenor and Orc. I need to learn how to speak English today. Seriously, this is ridiculous. Um, so the pre-expansion event is called we're facing the Legion at the Tomb of Sargeras, and what Gul'dan has done, thanks Gul'dan, um, has created gateways to endless Legion worlds, and so we have to close this wound kind of thing, but we're basically just going there to see what the hell he's done and why he decided that he needs to break everything. Yeah, we're gonna kill you, because I have a feeling you're a kind of warrior that I don't like. Okay, let's drop you, and let's drop you, and let's hit you in the face for five. So there's that. Um, according to Alex, this is the biggest demonic invasion of Azeroth ever, which I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty stoked about. Um, we're taking the fight directly to Gul'dan, because we're not just going to sit there, because we're angry, because that's what we do. Um, Broken Shore experience is going to be exactly like the dark, Assault in the Dark Portal for a fight before the expansion. It's going to be structured apparently completely differently. Um, and we're going to, hey, I won. We're going to have to bring back artifacts of old to kind of help us in this fight. So that's what the artifact weapons are about. So Ashbringer Doomhammer showed up on the screen. Everybody lost their crap. So that was pretty cool. The world, we are going to wake up after the event to a world on fire and a very bad headache, apparently. Um, we're going to see the story of the demon hunters through the, the story of the Illidari through the eyes of um, Illidan. And how when we were fighting him in Black Temple, he had some secrets that going on in the background, apparently, which is mighty convenient, but I guess that's what you do when you're Blizzard. So while we were fighting him in Black Temple, he was sending his like best Illidari on a suicide mission. And we become I think we become those Illidari. I think that's what kind of they were going for. So that's pretty cool. Um um, the, unfortunately, well, for, unfortunately, the Burning Legion, or the Demon Hunters, can only be Night Elves or Blood Elves. They are going to be a hero class, and I'm hoping maybe we'll start at level 100 so we don't have to go through all that garrison crap, but we'll see. Um, so our mandate for this expansion, we search the Broken Isles, we find the Pillars of Creation, which were relics of the Titans when, that they used to shape the world when the world was young. And... Uh, we will need to stop the Burning Legion. Um, we need them to close this wound at the tomb that has opened the port, the gateway to all these, uh, all of these um, w Legion worlds, essentially. So, there you go. so there's that. And all of Cadgar's going because Cadgar is in charge now of the Kirin Tor. He won't tell us where Jane went. He legitimately said, "I can't tell you where Jane went." But she left pretty pissed off, so I'm hoping she, there's a boss fight. The husband really doesn't want her to die because she's like from Warcraft, but I'm like, you know what? She got kind of pissy. I'm, I think I'm okay if she dies. Um, but the perks of being having the Kirin Tor on our side is that they basically control Dalaran, and Dalaran is a floating city, so Dalaran is coming with us, which I'm really excited about. Um, so different zones. The he said in no particular order, um, which I would tend to believe him, I think. That was not the one you were supposed to hit. Oh well. Um, so the one zone he mentioned is a druid refuge full of night elf druid druidic lore uh, called Valshara. It is a forgotten one, lots of lore. Um, Xavius is trying to bring back the Emerald Nightmare. So Cenarius and Ysera are among the ones that are going to help us fight it back and we actually get to go into the nightmare and get glimpses of the Emerald Dream which is pretty freaking amazing. I am very excited about that. For those of you who don't know, I play on Emerald Dream I play on the Emerald Dream server. That is my where my main is. It's where all my alliance are. So I am super, super stoked about this. Ah, oh, consecration, that's rude. Um, so the next zone, Stormheim. Um, we learn the origins of various Northrend species and we fight Valkyr, but this is where 
um, kind of like the purified Valkyr go went. The Valkyr left to try and like kind of find themselves essentially. Um, it's We're going to find I think a lot of Norse mythology there. Um, one of the dungeons coming up is very much based on Valhalla they said which is pretty cool. Um, there is its own called Azuna. We are discovering ghosts of ancient night elves, a dying breed of the dragonflight, and we have to race Queen Ashara for a pillar. Um, High Mountain has lots of big, tough creatures. One is called the Drogbar. I have no idea what it was. And it is the home of, I can never remember his name, but it's the guy who Deathwing was before he was Deathwing. Um, new Zone Suramar as well. It, there is a new race of elves, kind of connected to an older race of elves. I'm thinking they're like a deviation of High Elves. Um, unfortunately, they are pawns of the Burning Legion, so we have to kill them all. Which kind of sucks, not gonna lie. What the heck, let's tap. Okay. So there's that. Um, so uh, two of my best friends. Their mains are all in Suramar, which I'm very excited about. And for all of you nerds out there, we get to see Illyria and Terillion in this expansion. I'm so excited! For those of you who don't know, they are. it's a story from Warcraft. Oh, we've never seen them in WoW, I don't think. Um, but Alaria is sister to Sylvanas and Verisa, and she and her husband Terellian, and I think their son went missing, and we have no idea where they went. And now I think we know, and it's very, very, very exciting. I'm not going to tap at 18 health. Oh, you know what the heck? I think I will. Oh, beautiful. That would have been handy. I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, I think I can kill him next turn. Um, so there are 36 art so artifact weapons. There are 36, one for each specialization. Um, Demon Hunter will have two specs. We'll get to that in a second. You start on an epic adventure to get the shards of your artifact. Um, so Frost Death Knights, you get sh the shards of Frostborn at Shard. You can't actually wield Frostborn, but because you can do a wield, you get two shards. You end up getting two weapons that look like that, which is pretty sweet, I think. Um, it, the way that they kind of pathed it out, it looks like... Uh, a Path of the Titans workaround, which I thought was very exciting. And I'm going to run out of stuff to talk about by the... Or I'm not going to have enough stuff... I'm not going to have enough time to talk about it. So we're just going to keep playing, and I'm just going to keep talking, and that's just going to be a thing that happens. And But we're going to keep playing Zoo, because Gul'dan, because the expansion. Um, so some of the traits that you, you kind of spec into them, it levels up with you. Um, so as you level, your weapon will level up with you. You'll get artifact power, which you spend on traits for the weapon. Some are for you, some are for the weapon. Some are traits are visual, like they're entirely cosmetic. Some actually will, are going to be cool effects. Um, you can have different colors. You can have different versions of the weapons. You can look all of these up. But some, like I'll give you an example. Some of the Doom Hammers, one looks like it's like got lightning spiking out of it. Another one's made of fire, and another one um, has like crystals coming out of it. It's really cool. Yeah, we'll keep this starting hand. It's a great suit starting hand. Okay, so Fire Mage, you will get uh, Kael Foss's weapon. Survival Hunters get an Eagle Spear. I don't know what it's from. Um, Enhancement Shamans get Doomhammer. Feral Druids and Guardian Druids. Um, well, Feral Druids get Fangs of the First Night Saber. Guardian Druids, I have some good news for you. Hey, Gul'dan has one. Um, Feral and Guardian Druids, when you get your artifact weapon, it will actually change how your form looks because you can't really customize your weapon when you're in your specific form, which I thought was pretty freaking cool. Come on. There we go. Um, so the class orders are a thing to kind of... It's, it's like the new version of the garrisons, but they're... Uh, a lot, it seems like they're a lot less grindy, which is really nice. So apparently, the Alliance and Horde are super angry with each other, but we don't want to have the isolation that we had in Warlords. We kind of we need to work with our allies here, but we can't work with the opposing factions because again, we're we're pissy and we're angry, and it's just it's not going to be a good time. So, um, what's going to happen is we are going to band together with our classes. So as far as I know, it's going to be cross-faction as well. So any priests are going to have this hall, and are going to have this big like hall, and the horde will have this, or uh, paladins will have the same, and warlocks will have the same. Um, the, le the, the Legion expansion is focused very heavily on class identity, which is new, but I think super cool. And so, oh, come on, computer. Um, so you'll get different allies, and you'll each 
class will have different allies, we have different ideals, we get a personalized base like the Death Knight um, Acropolis, Necropolis from uh, Wrath when it came out. So shamans, you get a cave in the Maelstorm, which is, or Maelstrom, which is bull. I'm sorry, that is ridiculous. Um, but very cool. Uh, Paladins, you discover a sanctum beneath Light's Hope Chapel. Warlocks, um, you yours is on a Legion world. That's you can get to from the tomb. Um, instead of garrison followers, because when we needed to fight the Iron Horde, we needed numbers. That was like the most important thing. We needed to have numbers, and numbers aren't as important this time around. It seems. So what's important this time is uh, meaningful um, champions that instead of us sending them out to do stuff, we're going to go with them and we're going to have some help. Or maybe they'll scout an area and then we'll go there after. They told us to think of it like Knights of the Round Table. So basically Garrison's 2.0 but more world interaction. Um, dungeons and Raids, they want to fix dungeons this expansion. They want, they want to make it more what it should be, apparently, whatever that means. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of stuff to get rid of. Okay, please don't have something that I can't kill. Excellent, okay. Oh crap, okay, well, I don't think I can kill enough of these guys. No, I'm dead, that is okay. Didn't see it. All right. So, um, there is the one that is, is inspired by Valhalla in Stormheim called Halls of Valor. It is very high in the clouds. The artwork was amazing. Um, there is the Black Rook Hold, which is an ancient elven fortress in Valshara. And you begin in the catacombs and you kind of work your way up to the spire. Um, there is Vault of the Wardens, which is where Gul'dan found Illidan in the trailer. And it is also the Demon Hunter starting zone. Um, we're going to stop quick and I'm just going to power through the rest of this because we have already been here for 20 minutes. Uh, other dungeons are um, Eye of Ashara, Darkheart Thicket, Neltharian's Lair, that is the guy um, who used to be Deathwing, uh, Helheim, Suramar City, and Violet Hold. So we are taking Dalaran with us, which means Violet Hold is coming with us, and there are new monsters in the Violet Hold. So I'm thinking it's a new level 110 Violet Hold or something like that. Um, raids. We, the first raid we are doing, I think, we are going to the Emerald Nightmare. We will, Scenarius jumps in there to kind of help. So we have to pursue him and we have to face um, Xavius. The next raid is Suramar Palace. It is home of the Nightwell, which is the center of Suramar's power. And we face off against Gul'dan. And then eventually there will be one more raid afterwards, but they're not going to tell us that for a while. So Demon Hunters. So the looks of the Demon Hunters are customizable. You can have horns. You cannot have horns, apparently, if you're crazy. Um, there are cus there are tattoos that you can customize and change and stop that. And um, armor, Demon Hunter armor is made to show off the tattoos. Your skin can be different colors. It can look scaly. It can be not. Um, and then the eye band that all of the Illidari wear is also customizable. Um, as a hero class, we awaken in the Vault of the Wardens, but we're starting back we're going a bit back in time and then we're working towards current events. So I think we're starting right around the time that we that the heroes of old would be fighting Illidan in the Black Temple. I think that's when we're starting. It has two specs, uh, Havoc, which is DPS, melee, and Vengeance, which is a tank spec. So I'm thinking I might actually roll my first melee DPS. I'm actually kind of excited about this. We shall see. I'm not a huge fan of melee DPS, but I said I would give it a try. So some of the abilities are called Fell Rush, I Beam, Chaos Strike, Spectral Sight, uh, Chaos Nova, Vengeful Retreat. Um, some of it seems a little crazy overpowered. We have double jump. Are we? The demon hunters have double jump. They can see through walls to look for stealth and regular enemies. Um, the resource is demonic fury. I'm not quite sure how it works yet. We're thinking it's going to work a lot like energy, but I'm not entirely sure. So they're fixing the honor system. It's going to work like a talent system, and they're going to kind of separate off the PVE and the PVP talents. So you don't have to like try and choose. Um, so you, as you gain honor, you gain, you'll get talents, and as you gain more honor, you'll unlock more abilities um, laterally instead of just going down the tree. It is going to be balanced and completely separately from PvE, which I really like. You get more options the more you play. Um, a lot of the talents that they're bringing in are old talents that they took away from 
um, classes back in the day. So Abolish Magic, Initiation, Adaptation, Mind, Quickness, Blood and Soil, Necrotic Strike. These are all going to sound pretty familiar. Um, the talents are going to be focused for PvP and PvE. There's not going to be crossover. And then there's Prestige. So once you've completely maxed out, you can reset. Excuse me. You can reset. Um, you'll reset your honor bonuses, but you'll gain cosmetic bonuses, uh, portrait badges, mounts, and artifact variants. So different ways to look at the artifacts. Um, and then one look for each artifact weapon is going to be reserved for the Prestige Honor System, which I thought was pretty sweet. And that's pretty much it. Um, in the words of my husband, he was not prepared to become Illidan, so he is very, very excited. And yeah, I have rambled on for 25 minutes. Holy crap, it's almost like I'm excited for this expansion. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that informative. I hope you enjoyed watching me win some zoo and lose a zoo, but you know, I won two out of three, or three out of three. I don't even know how many games I play. Anyway, thank you for watching. And tomorrow will be the last uh, menagerie battle. So like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.